Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, so I'm just setting up a few things. Uh, I did manage to, uh, which one should I put this in? This one over here? Yeah. So I managed to uh, get the mechanical squeezer and drying basin. Uh, and I did set up a little bit of auto crafting for this. All this is here is it puts in one mineral log and it expects to receive a block of crystallized mineral, so one of these. So what that's doing is it's just putting the mineral log in here. This is set to auto reject the fluids. It does give us some of these chunks as well, which is very nice. And then that just pushes the fluid into here, which then turns it into a block of crystallized mineral. And then underneath here, I've got the importers. You need to have the importers on the bottom of these by the looks of it. I had them on the side to begin with. Actually, I had them on the top to begin with and it didn't work. So I put them on the side, didn't work. So I put them on the bottom, worked. That's how that works. So um, I just, as you just saw, I made a recipe for popped chorus. Because I think we have a bunch of chorus fruit. Uh, how do you spell it? Chorus. Yeah, we got a bunch of that. So what I'm going to do now is set up another recipe because I want to get these blocks of chorus chunks. And to do that, we need to do these. And the calculations, if I'm not wrong, is eight popped chorus makes one block. So that's what I'm going to do. So processing, I'm going to cancel that. Yeah. And get some popped. Chuck that then. Bump that up to eight. And then we need one of those blocks. What's this called? Crystallized. Crystal. There it is. So that there is the recipe. I can chuck this in here and I can request a bunch of those. And I should probably make this recipe. And whilst I'm at it, I could probably use this recipe as well. Uh, yeah, I'll put them in here for now. That'll do it. Cool. So now if we go... Uh, let's make one of these. Hit start. We can run over here. And we can see that it cooked all of these popped chorus cooked all of the chorus fruit into pop chorus and then made all of that pushed it into here and we should have one of those blocks now uh, lock yeah there it is see so now uh, I did I just want to point out that I do have a full 256 storage disk which is not great uh, but I did set up the auto crafts for 64 Ks so, oh, actually, I made a bunch of those. Ah, there we go. So I've got five more of these. So I'll just chuck these in here for now. At some point, I will combine these three and combine these three and then combine it with this one to make a, uh, well, the one above this. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we were making the player simulator. So for that, we need one of these. I could set up all the autocrafts for these, I suppose. So yeah, let's do that. That makes that. Uh, what else did we need? We needed one of these, uh, which means we need a variable card. So we can do that one. Uh, we also need that. Uh, I think it's probably the other way around for these ones, right? Yeah. I'm sure if I taught it sticky pistons. Let's just teach that now. There we go. Uh, I do really need to make a new crafter for some of these things. But that is fine. Missing uh, logs. Okay. Probably why my storage is full. 
Uh, I missed one. Boink. Okay. So now I can make. Oh, I need to make these as well. Okay. Uh, let's make like I don't know ten of these, and let's make ten of these as well. Got twelve of those. Perfect. And we're definitely going to need four of these. I think it makes yeah one craft. It makes four of them, so that's fine. Uh, now these ones. Might need to make some more of these uh, item interfaces because I think he uses one per one of these. Do that. Okay, so it makes another one of these. So we can just do that. Okay. So this one here is one of these. Um, I'm trying to do a little bit more crafting on screen because I, I do tend to. Like, just say, oh, I'm going to do this thing, and then I go off and do it, and then don't show you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> Try not to miss anything. Okay, there we go. Player simulator, woohoo! There is another thing that we need, uh, so it's not just, you know, these three that we need. We also need a logic. Oh, I should have been here. Oh, uh, we need either this here, the logic programmer, or this portable one, which is the same thing. You just chuck it in there. Uh, we can make one of these. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to plot this down with the rest of our stuff over here. And then we need a card. One of these, literally all we need that in the corner there put this in here and there is our item card for supremium that is empty I don't know if that will work uh, filled cool I just put that back in item supremium authoring can oh we also need a draw War one of those and I think that's everything now we can pop back in here uh, we might need some placement blocks actually I almost type placement block then well I did type it <laughs> so we want it to go right in the middle here so I think that's good enough Logic cable can go right there. Yeah, is it? I think. Stick this on the bottom like that. Stick the draw on top. And then the interface on that. Uh, we can chuck this watering can in there now. And then all this requires is you put it here. That is a quest apparently. We want it on right click, right click, continuous click. I think that's everything we need. I should be doing it now, should be watering. So what we can do is get some just regular farmland. Uh, doesn't recognize this lapis hoe, which is a bit funny, but Stick this down and you see it instantly gets watered. So that's awesome. I should be doing it then. So that's 11 by 11. Hello. Also, uh, if you haven't noticed, there's no, no more drips because I went outside and uh, got some luminous glass. What was happening is it was like little pockets of water that were just stuck there. So. Anyway, that's all working now. I got attacked like a million times. Not by the dolphins, but yeah. 
Uh, so now we can actually start setting up our farm. And I think we're going to need probably... Let's, let's get... I don't really want to do wireless everywhere. But we're going to have to, I think, in here. So let's set up another network. We're just going to start draining our power at some point. We're going to need to make a new power source. <laughs> okay, let's grab these. Uh, I am going to set it up on this side. Right, we've got to remember what's 11 by 11 mean. It means 5 out from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right here is going to be our last one. Uh, and then we need a... we got a plant, planter and gatherer, right? Got these two. Yeah, we've got these two. Easy. So they point away from me, I think. Yep. Kind of need a gatherer. Not no, a planter, sower even, right here. This might look a bit weird. Yeah. Anyway, mm, I kind of have a plan for these. We can use the entangle box. What are they called? Uh, entangle these things. Okay. So these should. So the the issue that I was having is, yeah, we need to somehow get the items from here. So I think I, I said it in my last episode, but basically if you plant something down and you harvest it with this plant gatherer, it it like breaks the seed as well. So it will just leave like an empty crop plot. So I think these uh, entangle block things will be perfect for this. Uh, and then we're going to get... We could use pipes, or we could use the mechanism pipe. I'm going to use pipes, just for now. Uh, we can use one of these. And then we could do something like this. And we also need that entangle wrench thingy. Grab that, pop it there. Oh, damn it. Shift, click. And then normal click. Beautiful. Uh, we don't technically need this second one. Yeah, in fact. Huh, it stays entangled. Did not know that was a thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we can pop that there. In fact, that, that's how we can power this as well. Which is kind of cool. Let's get rid of that. Do that. And... Pipe that into there. So if I was to put, I can't, no, that won't work, will it? Let's get just a regular seed. Or oh, yeah, that'll do. You going in? Hey, you are. Uh, so I want to kind of set four corners. Four corners. Uh, yeah, I want to set these four corners to be inferior. Uh, yeah, I'm going to set that up. Uh, and we can also power it, as I said. So... Flux point. Flux point. I'm being very liberal with my flux points, I know. So we do this. That actually might start planting stuff. I actually, what's the range on this? Oh, just directly above it. Okay. <laughs> So we need some sort of like, we need a plus five, plus five would do it. But that is that now kind of automated. Uh, I don't think if you pull out of this and put into this, it will take any of the other stuff, which we can push into an ender chest. Yes, I like this idea. Uh, we also need one, two. Beautiful. Right. Uh, let's turn that to always on. And then that will just not drain any power for now. Because we also need to do a plus five on this. Uh, yeah, okay. OK, 
Okay, so now let's get an ender chest. Uh, we have a bunch of these because when we go exploring, uh, it yeah they have a chance to drop. So actually, we could just I forgot I did this. Like, mm, I, yeah, that would work. Anything that uh, yeah, but we want this to go. Yeah, we want furthest last. So we can set this up underneath like that. Get another couple of these ultimate pipes. Don't need to be ultimate, by the way. It's just the way that I, I just happen to have that amount. And then we need some upgrades. So let's just grab one of these. Nearest first. Exactly how we wanted it. So basically, if this goes... If this gets like, um, I don't know, some sort of seed... Grab the seeds out of here again. It'll go this way first. And there should be 64 in here. Yeah, there we go. And then when it's done, it will go down here and go into the ender chest. So if this is full up, we'll start going into the ender chest. Or if it's got items such as the Inferium, it will go into the ender chest and go into our system. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, I kind of want to set something up for the lighting in here. What cool light blocks have we got? Um, I do know about the power pots, by the way, but I think they're a little bit out of our price range. Yeah, because uh, uh, we could kind of do this now. Basic. Fast iron. But you need the, the different tiers. So that's wyvern. That's draconic. Okay. We do need to get into dr draconic in a bit, but I wanted to set this up first, right? So if I put that up there. About that and that. Ooh, I have a, another idea. Not that I wanted to do. Torch. Oh, missed it. Torches. Yes. I don't know how much light these give off. Hopefully, it's about the same as a torch. Love it. Although that is now got that on front there. No. Uh, this is going to be farmland anyway, right? So I'll just pop that there for now. Cool. Okay, so let's start chucking some stuff away that we don't need. We don't actually need this now then. Because everything is going to go into this ender chest. And this white concrete we can put back down here. Cool, okay, what add-on did we make a while ago? It's plus five, and that's exactly what we need, I think. So let's make two of those. And there we go, two of those. Let's stick that in there. Stick that in there. Show working area. <laughs> it does the working area on this as well. Oh, love it. Okay, and then we can do show working area. That looks like it's the same. And there is the middle, I think. One, two, three. Yes, I'll take count with this on. One, two, three, four, five, six is there. Yeah, perfect. Cool, now we need to make the, what do you want calls? The farmland. So, farm. Actually, let's just make, just get some dirt. Let's do it with dirt to begin with. And we can always upgrade it with um, Supremium after the fact. So, I'm going to leave these here and have the water. Yeah. So, we want one, two, three, 
four, five. Two, three, four, five. Cool. I'm going to do this off camera and then we'll be back after. I am getting distracted again. I was using my Silk Touch pick uh, and I had to look for what other pickaxe we got. And we did get the Wyvern pickaxe. And I was just looking at it, thinking, how does this work? And it says, this requires energy module to function. I looked up energy module and we can actually make one of these so I'm gonna do that now so we do have some draconic or draconium ingots module core and there we go so it says if you press shift and then C I'm guessing we can just pop it in there and that is charging up it takes a million RF I wonder how quick this is uh, it's a bit quicker. There you go. It's a little bit quicker than my uh, manual in Silky Touch, but Silky Touch is like not quick. I think that's like a thing about Silk Touch. Uh, I'm trying not to disturb this farmland here because I know if you do break it, it does turn back into dirt, and we'll just lose those six supremium that we've got. Um, not that we are hurting for Supremium. Uh, let's have a look. Soup. We have only got six still. After my silly mistake that I did on last episode. But yeah, I'll um. Let me get back to this. Uh, I'm just. I just want to show you that I'm going to use this Wyvern pickaxe for a little bit. Right, there we go. Got this all turned into dirt over here and as you can see as I uh, what do you call this plow I suppose yeah as I plow this field in this dome it does instantly get watered because of the supremium watering can that we've got in here uh, I actually have no idea if the uh, like growth acceleration sort of effect that the watering can has actually works in this method or if it just like waters the area but you know what we'll give it a look did that over there just turn i'm very confused anyway uh there you go so oh hello yeah see they, they sort of stop and then start is is one water not enough for this like area it looks like just around the edge. Maybe it only goes out four. Which, in that case, we could set up some water around the edge, I suppose. So, like, maybe one here. And... I don't know. Maybe here and here. And then all the way around. I mean, it works. We've got, the, the, we've got this watering can watering it so it's fine in fact we probably don't need this one in the middle but we're going to leave it in the middle just because just in case so now what we can do is set this to this no this there you go it's planting down lovely That is not exactly how I thought it would plant down, because I put it in the corners, right? I suppose there's nothing in these either, so... It's just going to plant them all down like this. This does seem a little bit quick. Like, I do feel like... Oh, maybe did I set this... I think there's a, an option in here to set the... Okay, maybe not in here. Tick operations one. Okay, fair enough. Working. This might have to be our Inferium room. So that one there should get... Oh, I need to turn this on as well. That one there should get harvest, harvested. And then it should replant. Yeah, if you look there, it's replanting. 
I'll wait for this one over here to get harvested and then we'll see it plant somewhere else. I also want to see what this is doing. We need to do something with that sludge. Yeah, so the Inferium is coming out. If I look in here, Inferium's not going in here, so it is happy planting stuff, isn't it? Cool, this is our Inferium farm then. <laughs> that was actually far simpler than I thought. These entangled blocks are amazing. Perfect for what we want. Cool, right. Uh, I am going to be back with what we're going to do next. So before we uh, go off and do the next thing, I am actually going to just grab the Supremium that we have. Should be coming in a bit quicker. So we've got, wow, well, stack. Got exactly a stack. Perfect. And uh, I am, oh, and that's not what I wanted. Uh, I'm just going to pick up all of these seeds for now because I'm going to turn all of this into Supremium Farmland. I might not do the edge just because, uh, well, I don't know if you've seen it, but yeah, there you go. See, they, they uh, sort of dry up after a while. I know the watering can does hit them, but let's do at least this middle portion. Probably chunk load this as well, actually, thinking about it. I didn't realize that. Let's do that right now. We are fully <laughs> forced chunk loaded right here. Uh, I don't think we need this front one. And what's happening at the back here? Oh, who knows? Anyway, we'll come back to that later. So we've got 22. Uh, maybe that's enough to do another round. The reason I wanted to do this, by the way, is because this is... How many do we need? We need one, two, three, four. So we need about another block of Supremium. Which we don't quite have. That's fine. But yeah, the reason I wanted to do this is because with these... Uh, I can plot one down and I can show you. See there it says Inferium output is 300% and there's a 10% chance of getting, see that's only 1% and there's no chance of getting another seed and I want these to basically back up on all the seeds. So what I can do is chuck all of these back in here. That'll get planted. It'll get planted in the edges as well but I don't, I don't really mind as long as it's, why did that one pop off? Can you not plant it? Oh, it's probably to do with light. I think it is. Okay, right, I'm gonna need to fix that. Uh, what? We've got flood lights. Flood. Don't know what these do, but maybe I stick one up here. How do they work? Let's grab a placement block and see how these work. Like this. No. No. I want you to be the other way around, please. Hmm. Yeah, so I could do it. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that it does it. Yeah, these are very confusing to me. Maybe we do it this way around. This pickaxe isn't the fastest in the world, I must admit. That's fine, though. Right, so now if we... That's not exactly what I wanted either. How do I get it to point down? Let's do something like that. Keep pointing up. Maybe the hammer will work. Let's 
try the crescent hammer just to, oh yeah, that one works. Will you not point down? Is that a thing? Doesn't look like it, okay. Oh, oh I didn't mean to do that. Uh, glass, actually we can use this middle block. Yeah, happy accident, perfect. Grab a... What's a good light source that's not going to reach over over there? Feral flare lantern might work. Flare. Uh, I'm going to look up the, the radius of this feral flare and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm not entirely sure, but I think... Sod it, we're going to make... Uh, we might have some... Actually, no, we don't. Oh, I just had it flare. So we're just going to make another one of these. Uh, yes, let's grab one of those. Kind of defeats the purpose of making this out of luminous glass now that I think about it, but it's fine. Get rid of these as well. Yeah, that just did that. That's not great. Uh, okay, come on, fair flare, please. Need to make sure that this isn't uh, being hit with the lantern either. These two over here. Luckily, I did put these like as far away from that room as we could get. Right, I'm gonna AFK here, and then I'll be back once these are uh, once this is filled in with with some lights. That might have fixed it. Yeah, so these bits here did fill in, so I'm just waiting for this area to fill in. All right, this seems to be taking quite a while, so I had a plan. Time in the bottle to the rescue. I think this will work. Filling up the area. Okay, good. Looks like it's not doing the thing anymore where it was breaking the blocks. So yeah, we can plant stuff down now. Perfect. Let's chuck these back in here. Cool. So the plan is to uh, fill all of this in with Supremium at some point once we get all of the, all of the Supremium for this. Still don't have a block. Uh, I'm going to go check on that. Right, this is how quickly things come in. Not really as quick as I thought it would be. But we haven't made the growth accelerators yet, so there is that. Uh, I should actually set up a recipe for the growth accelerators. Okay, so we want this. Don't know if we've got this automated, but okay, maybe we skip that for now. But I did some calculations. If we want to do that whole farm down there, we'll need 1,440 of the first one and then the same of each of the others uh, so before I do that I'm gonna go into my test world and I'm gonna see how much of a difference it makes all right there we go so I've put supremium the uh, imperium tertium dentium and then the inferium growth accelerators just on this one block here I've turned this off for now and I've got the supremium water watering can on there how quick is this? Pretty quick, but not as quick as it is in other packs, I suppose. That's still pretty quick. Yeah, 
as you see there, this is, I mean, we should make this super premium as well. I don't think this actually affects, this only affects like what you get out of it. So yeah, see there we got three. So 300% output means that we get three each time. So there you go, we got 15, so five, maybe more crafts of this than, or not crafts, we got five more harvests of this than we did for this. So if we do this quickly, gave this a little bit of a head start. And we just sit here and hold right click should be able to see how quickly this, this goes. But yeah, basically these are pretty good, but they're not as good as I thought. I might leave it, if I'm honest. Uh, what happens if I just use, uh, yeah, what happens if I just use like, I don't know, one of these. Does that make it any quicker? No idea. <laughs> Doesn't seem to. Okay, that's fine. We'll just uh, we'll ignore the accelerators for now. I know that it does speed it up quite significantly, but meh. Let's go back into our overworld. All right, there we go. Back in our main world, uh, and I believe this should be wrapping up point. So we did get quite a little, well, quite a bit done. Let's uh, go back down here. Make sure that these aren't being yet they're all good thank you feral flare uh what i'm gonna do is between episodes i'll probably fill up all of these with uh supremium so we've got a whole farm of supremium farmland i'll get us a bunch more of those seeds as well so this should have more seeds than it needs uh, it's probably still getting there but uh we should probably also ooh, do something with this sludge there is a sludge refiner. Sludge. One of these, and I believe, yeah, it just outputs like random stuff. Salt, sand, dirt, clay, gravel, sand, yeah. All of these different like items. Uh, we could either do that or just trash can it. Uh, make one of these actually pop that next to it and then this can go out this way yeah there we go so that just gets rid of the sludge we don't actually need the sludge for anything i don't believe but yeah between episodes cover this in supremium thank you for watching thanks for joining me and i will see you in the next one bye